Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our Catalan Studio course. And in this video we'll be talking about working with Cucumber Runners. Alright, so let's get started. So the objective of this video is this. We are going to run all the features at once using Cucumber Options with Test Runner class. So this is exactly the same thing that we can do in Cucumber, something like this. So we know that we can create a class in Cucumber and we can add something called as Cucumber Options where you can specify additional configuration to the runner. For instance, you can specify like you need to run that with a Cucumber class using the add run with Cucumber annotations and then we need to do this Cucumber Options annotations and then we need to put the plugin as pretty HTML uh, as target Cucumber Options, target as Cucumber, something like that. So we can keep on extending the configurations like whatever configurations that you like because there are so many options available in Cucumber Options where you can keep on extending it to add them within the class. So this is exactly the same thing that we have already discussed in our Serenium with Cucumber course available in Exit Automation YouTube channel so you can go ahead and watch there. So it is already discussed. But how are we going to call this runner in Catalan Studio though? Well to call this particular class we have to use what is called as Cucumber KW or the static method or variable of Cucumber's extension API and then we need to call this run with Cucumber runner method to call the runner class that we have created. So if we call this particular run with Cucumber runner method it is going to execute the runner class for us and it's going to execute all the feature files that we have defined within this particular Cucumber option and then it executes that and it also generates the report for us. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that I'm going to flip to Catalan Studio 5.7 right now. Alright, so this is the Catalan Studio 5.7 and this is the same project that we have been working so long in our uh, course, at least for the PDD with Cucumber section of Catalan Studio. So in our previous videos we created this particular feature file and in order to execute this feature file we just go over here and then we use this Chrome to run the whole test for us and it just executes fine. And you remember in our previous video we saw that the reports will be generated in a specific file location which is kind of not that great because we always have to go to this console and we can see there is this particular location like a temporary file location where we have to navigate and then we need to get the Cucumber uh, reports from there. Why don't we just extend this reporting options to be available within our test folder so that we can access the report every time we need. That's kind of very very interesting option that we can do with Cucumber, right? So for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to create what is called as a runner class file. So I'm just going to create a new uh, so there is nothing called as new class file or something like that. So probably I'm just going to use this what is called as uh, my test runner or maybe why don't we just call it as Cucumber uh, EA runner and then I'm going to hit OK here. So that's going to create a uh, Cucumber runner class file for me and then I need to add the Cucumber options here. So in order to add the Cucumber options here I need to just write some few lines of code here to make this happen. So first of all I need to import the what is called as the JUnit runner. So because JUnit runner is what is going to be used in the Cucumber out of the box uh, to execute the test. So I'm just going to call the J uh, JUnit runner. So let's see there is JUnit and then there is this uh, runner and then there is this run with annotations, right? So I'm going to include that. And then I also need to include the Cucumber options uh, here as well as the Cucumber API of JUnit. So I need to include those two libraries as well, right? So once this is done, I need to just include the run with. So I'm just going to do this run with. There you go. And then I can call the Cucumber class here. So that's why I just included this Cucumber option. And then I need to include the Cucumber option here. So Cucumber options. And for the options, in order to execute all the feature files located in this folder, I can give what is called as features. So this is something which is available out of the box uh, within Cucumber option. So I can do that as well. So you can see the line has been gone, which means it is recognizing. So I need to include the folder location where the, the feature file exists. So basically 
all the feature file exist in the include features folder so I'm gonna specify that so glue you can just leave it blank for now because it automatically glues in Catalan studio so you don't really have to worry about that and then the plugin is something that we need to specify like what kind of plugin that we require so I need to generate a pretty uh, HTML report so I'm gonna do that and then I'm also interested in the HTML fold, uh, file so I'm just gonna include the HTML of what is called as a uh, report folder so that's gonna include my uh, report folder though so I think this is fine for now then later we can also include the JSON file if you want so this is the very very super simple runner for me and then I need to invoke this runner so that I can execute this particular uh, login dot feature so in order to invoke you don't really have to go to the feature or to any other step class file uh, as you can see here and then you need to invoke that no that's not the right way rather we have to go to this particular test case so basically this runner should be invoked from a test case rather from the feature file itself so that's very very important because we are not going to invoke the test from the feature file here rather we need to invoke that from the test cases right so from the scripting mode we need to invoke that so as you can see here if I expand this particular import you can see there is something called as com.kms.catalan.core cucumber.keyword. cucumber built in keyword as cucumber kw so this guy is the one which is responsible for us to call this particular feature file so you can see that just automatically comes in here so I'm just gonna call that and there is something called as run feature file so this particular run feature file will include just one specific feature file that if you want to execute but if I want to execute all the feature files which is specified in the runner then I can include this guy the runner right and then I need to call this cucumber ea runner so once I call this you can see that it is automatically importing the namespace for me or the package for me and then I need to call this class that's it so once I do that it automatically start recognizing the particular runner class file for me and now if I execute this test in the Chrome browser you can see that it is going to execute the complete test that we were executing before from here but the good news is if I go to the console this time you can see that it is not generating the report in a temporary location or something like that which was happening before rather this time the report will be generated in a different folder so let me just go to this particular uh, folder location so open containing folder and let me go to the uh, cucumber all right let me go over here cucumber and you can see that I now have a report folder here you go so this is the report folder that I just created from the runner this guy report folder and this is the report folder here so now if I just open this HTML file you can see that our HTML file is available over here which is really really cool so now I could see that we could able to leverage the power of runner which is nothing but the cucumber runner with cucumber options we can execute the test right now so if I want to generate a JSON file or something like that I can just go ahead over here and then I can just include this JSON and then I can just call this report folder right so this is the folder location and then I can just call this cucumber.json I can save it and now if I try to uh, run the test from the test case over here so I'm just gonna run that you can see that it is also gonna generate a cucumber JSON for me over here as you can see this one is generated it's currently in zero byte and then it becomes 3 KB which means it is working as well right so this is how you can keep on extending your tests in Catalan Studio using BDD Cucumber very very easily with the option of runner so this is really really cool so basically we used to call this runner either from test ng in Java or we call this runner from a console command line but in Catalan Studio we are calling the complete runner using what is called as this test cases to execute that so this is a very nifty tool which is available in Catalan Studio to run the runner class for us really really handy so that's it guys, once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.